All right, all right, everybody. <laughs> Hopefully this will be the last stream of this particular Majora's Mask Randomizer. Because I'm personally getting... I'm ready for the seed to be over with. I only need one more item left. As soon as I get the Sonata of Awakening, I'm in go mode, and I can just complete Woodfall Temple and Stone Tower Temple, and then go to the moon. It's just figuring out where the Sonata is. Alright, dawn of the first day. There's a couple things I want to do. Come on, you still haven't <laughs> gone to Woodfall yet. Yeah, Tattle, I can't save Woodfall. Not yet. Anyways. A couple things I want to do. So very first thing I'm going to do is... I found the powder keg? Right next to the entrance to the secret shrine in Akana Canyon. I'm going to go grab that. So that way I can pull up the entrance to Romani Ranch. And things there. I can do the target practice for Romani. And get a prize there. There's the Couples Mask side quest I can do. I found all the stuff required for that. I also now have the Bomb Bag, so I can do Honey and Darling's uh, game. <laughs> Nicely done, Zora Link. And there's our power pack. All right. <laughs> Gotta get some arrows. Oh, hey, Nintendo addict, welcome. <laughs> Yeah, there are a couple of things I had to look up in order to figure out that they existed in this game as well. Before I was starting, I basically looked up all the George Mask graphics. And there were a couple that I didn't know about. setting does in the randomizer? Oh, it saps your health steadily? Oh no, that sounds terrible. Remind me not to do that. Hey, who are you? <laughs> Look, I'm actually a little kid. Hey. I'm in no you. Tonight, they come. <laughs> You're a boy, you must like being an outdoorsman. Uh, that's sexist, Romani. <laughs> they are annoying? Not really. Honestly, the alien invasion is not that difficult of a challenge once you, especially if you have the map of the area. Oh, you want me to do this, like, fast, Romani? Oh. I think I have two minutes to do it. I love the horse race music, it's so good. The key for the alien attack don't ride a Pona. Honestly, not riding a Pona makes it so much easier. You just have to remember there's the one behind the house. <laughs> oh no, I never slow down time for the ghost attack. They're, they're really slow regardless. 
the heart container was off a little bit. Oh yeah, I did get that. Alrighty. Whoa, hello. <laughs> she just clipped right through me. Pay attention to the one behind the house. His path is much shorter. Yeah. I feel like everybody has gotten hit by that guy. Also, fun fact, the alien attack is uh, my sister Marty's favorite part of Majora's Mask. Or at least when it comes to watching Majora's Mask. She hasn't actually played it herself. <laughs> In the time I blew up that and did the target practice, Cafe still hasn't walked to the mailbox yet. Alright. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to find a grotto. One of those generic grottos and I'm going to catch a bunch of fish. Because um, the fish in the marine research laboratory ate Cafe's letter. Which is not a very nice thing to do. Neat thing about this randomizer, it has a chance to give you the circus leader's mask. Yeah, it's true. I mean, the circus leader's mask, you never need, but it does make Creamia's carriage a little easier. Alright, so I think I need around five fish. Last, when I did it last stream, because I figured out what it was, but I couldn't use the letter for anything because I got it on the second day. Or actually, I gave it to the hand in the toilet. But it took five fish last stream, so I think five fish will do it again. Maybe I'll get a sixth... No, I'm going to get a sixth one. Because I also want to do Beneath the Well. Yeah, the mask is literally useless in vanilla. Unless you really want to see the cutscene where you get the hug from Premia. As I get that Sonata awakening, though. That's it. <laughs> you can always wear it around the Gorman Brothers to make them all weepy. Oh, you can? I guess I never used it for that purpose, or if I did, it's been a while. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do... Marine Research Laboratory to get the letter to Cafe. Wait, I just realized. What happens if you put the letter for Cafe in the mailbox on the first day? Because the mailman would go around. Would he take it, or would he literally not do anything? Would it not change his routine until the second day? That's just screw everything up. I don't know, and I don't want to find out. No, Link. I don't want to potentially glitch the game, so I'm not going to find out this stream. No, don't let it out here. Here we go. Put the letter in the mailbox early, the game crashes. <laughs> I don't know, but it would be funny if it did. Not if it happens to me, would it? So last time, one fish ate one, and then the other fish ate four fish. Which may have slowed it down a little, so maybe you only need four if the same fish eats all four of these. So if, this, if the big fish eats this one, will he eat the small fish? Yes, he will. All right. Cafe. 
Also, if memory serves, there is... A piece of heart I did not get in Great Bay, or whatever it turned into. Where you kill the like like at the bottom of the hill. I think that's in the second area. And I don't think you get a special reward for breaking all those pots either, so... No, thank you. Pots give you 90 rupees if you break them all and minus 10 if you fail. Yeah. That's what I thought. Alright. Um. I can't. Mm, I don't remember how to get blue potion. Or if I've even found a blue potion yet. And I kind of need one if I want to do beneath the well. No, I, I'm looking at my notebook. I don't have that. I only wrote down the stuff for... Mm, okay. So I can't get... I can't get Blue Potion, which means I can't explore a decent part of Beneath the Well. That's a little frustrating. Okay. Sorry. First time you fought Majora without the Fierce Deities Mask, you thought it would be hard. It wasn't. Majora's a pretty easy final boss. Unless you're doing like a free hard run. But even then, you can have six fairies. So I beat Snowhead last time cycle, but I'm going to beat it again. Just because I you get the special delivery for Mama and the Pendant of Memories. In order to get those, you have to beat it. Ah, I'm really bad at controlling the Goron. Bosses that the first DD mask doesn't help you a whole lot against him. That's been my experience, anyways. 
Because, like, you have. He can't. Fierce DD Link really, can't really do anything to Goat until you knock him down, and then in that case, you can just keep hitting him with Gore on Link, and that deals a ton of damage. Second, where's the special delivery for Mama? Yeah, the Ocarina of Time randomizer is a little more advanced than the Majora's Mask randomizer. It's supposed to going into the portal should have given me the special delivery for Mama. I'm not sure what's happening with that. Let's go to Stone Tower Temple. So unless I'm mistaken, the Sonata of Awakenings either going to be in Stone Tower Temple, or part of the Andrew Cafe side quest, or the Honey and Darling side uh, quests. Thankfully this is, well no, it's not the last of the Elegy of Emptiness puzzles we have to do, not even close. Well, the, 
I'm not surprised. The Ocarina of Time randomizer, A, it's older, and B, has like a ridiculously dedicated community, so... It advances pretty fast. It's so bizarre that, Icon like, the temple in Akana Canyon, which is, like, one of the creepiest places in Zelda, has, like, really happy music. But also slightly off-putting music at the same time. The puzzles in this game seem a little more interesting. They are pretty... Majora does definitely have some interesting puzzles, it's true. Welcome to Stone Tower Temple. <laughs> that rat's not creepy or anything. Oh, I, I adore the Akana Castle music. Ancient Castle of Akana is my second favorite track in the game. My favorite being Deacon Palace. Also, because I have light arrows, I can sequence spray this area a little bit. Upside down chest. Care to guess what the gimmick for this dungeon is? <laughs> oh, that's true. White arrows do let me skip the obnoxious mirror puzzle, which is easily one of the most annoying puzzles in the game. <laughs> I get the compass before I get map. What the heck? That rat just is relentless. He's like, I can walk on water. I'm Jesus. That rat has more faith than I do. <laughs> maybe the rat has boots. That's true, maybe. try with the jump out. That's one of the tougher parts of the dungeon for me, is just jumping out with Zora Lake. Oh, hi. Excuse me. I just wanted your money. Actually, I've come to figure this is the dungeon with the most keys in it. That's exactly where I wanted to go. Oh, doggone it. Should have went to that side first. Straight fairy. Oh, small key. I forget where a lot of the stray fairies are, which might come back to bite me. Dexy hand is helpful, indeed. 
Actually, one of those threw me out of the water in Great Bay Temple as well, and that also saved my life. So thank you, Dexy Hands. You're actually quite useful. <laughs> Now I get to see what a pain in the butt this puzzle, this puzzle actually is. Because we didn't get enough bad swords when we controls in the Great Bay Temple. Why is he not jumping high enough? He's a dumb butt. Oh, there we go, at last. Can I just open the freaking chest? Thank you. Any of the dungeon that I could actually go to. Whoops. Well, that's one way to do it. The statues are equally aggressive in this and in Ocarina. The Bemoses are just some of the most annoying enemies in Zelda. Oh, hey, bro. Interesting how they choose not to. They choose not to randomize the key chests in this. It's a, part of the tr tricky thing with this dungeon is you can see the chests on the map, but some of those might be upside down chests. that your great fairy mask shimmy hair shimmers even even if the stray fairy is upside down in the room. So you might be like, where the heck is the stray fairy? And that's a well you can't get it here, you lack wit. Thankfully, Son of Sorin can take us right back to the entrance. Because you're not supposed to go through the dungeon in that direction, you're supposed to go in the opposite direction. It's a cool idea for a dungeon, the Stone Tower Temple. I just don't particularly like it. It's neat, but not without issues. I'll agree with you there. It's mainly f getting all the chests is a pain in the butt. Oh, <laughs> 
Goron needs to push the big switch. Goron links one of his powers is just he's fat. Or heavy, I guess is the better term. There we go. That big? Oh. Finally in Stone Tower Temple after putting it off for a long, long time. Are we gonna turn upside down? Is the whole dungeon gonna flip over? Well, given how there's a bunch of stuff that's upside down, you shouldn't be surprised if it gets flipped upside down. So easy to miss a chest like this. a chest key, a key somewhere. <laughs> oh, I can't push the switch by swimming up into it. In case you couldn't tell, folks, it's been a very fallen wild since I have played this dungeon. <laughs> it's the story about how Link's wife got flipped turned upside down. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. When a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started to make trouble with my neighbor. What room am I supposed to get a key in? Did I miss?
this one in the basement somewhere? I hate making this jump. are the worst! <laughs> I even take Goron controls over this. Whoa! Oh, sequence breaking. Speedrun strats. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame I already went up there. Oh, I bet I know what it is. Wait a second. How does this trading sequence work? Because... Because I got both the Letter to Cafe and the Pendant of Memories, and they both are in, they're in the same city. So does that mean I can't access the Letter to Cafe anymore? Yeah, there's that one. I picked up the letter and I picked up the Pendant of Memories, and now the only thing in my inventory is the Pendant of Memories. Is there a way to access...? Is there a way to access the letter instead of that? Because if not, that could be bad. If not, I'm gonna have to fight Goat. Again. Because I know in, in, like, Link to the Past randomizer, when you've got a couple of items on the same slot, you can cycle through them. But can you do that in the Majora's Mask randomizer, or did I just screw myself out of being able to do the couple's mask side quest? Because there's a bunch of items that I need to get from the couple's mask side quest. does have arms and legs. I always thought it was literally just a head. I thought it was like a grown head, but evil. Yes, yeah, stone mask would help for that room, and the enemies leave you alone.
Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's for all. Yes, just in time. Beautiful. Fire indeed hot. Goron Link can just walk and roll through the lava. I don't know why he can't just tank fire like it's nothing. Trickiest Deku flying in the game. <laughs> Hello, Garrow Master. himself up and then laughs. Explain that how you will. Yeah, you can, but then he just backflips and does it all again. Oh boy, it's the Picto box. So that opens up a couple of new things now. They're like, we're guessing that you just are going to get beat up a lot. Here you go. How do you get for this room again? Oh no, not that fan. I had enough of that. What's going on here? I've played this dungeon before twice, so why am I getting... Oh, their names are Hip Loops? Yes, they are jerks. They beat me up all the time in here. And they force you to Z-target them, too. Oh, and there's a helmet. Yeah. 
Take that. Got a powerful punch. Okay. Don't need light arrows. Regular ones will. Ouch. Those guys are cool, though. Igors are fun, you like letting them toss like around like a ragdoll, yeah. Fair enough. I wish I had more magic powder, though. Back to this room. All right, we're leaving. Now, before it's too late, I want to do Honey and Darlene's Bamachu game, which is the hardest one by far. There's like the Bamachu one. There's Bomb Basketball, which is not that bad, and then there's the Archery one, which is super easy. I finally have the bomb bag, so I can finally do it. This one is way worse. Dang fast at the end. Also, I swear that the door makes it like impossible to go up the wall. <laughs> just a matter of getting on the right part of the merry-go-round. <laughs> Thanks for the $50. Oh, it's a good thing I beat it when I did, because it's about to become night. Alrighty. 
Alrighty then. Back to Stone Tower. And now we can do the other part of the dungeon. of emptiness, why does it have to have such a slow tune? Why can't it be like a really fast song? <laughs> no! Link, you jerk! Oh, and they removed my statue. Of course they did. There we go. <sighs> See, I just... Uh, I don't like Majora's Dungeons. Snowhead's alright, and the others all suck. I guess Woodfall isn't terrible. It's just boring. for me to grab here? I don't remember that. Oh, do I need magic beans for that, though? Dana, I need magic beans. Also, for some weird reason, the Picto Box just does not work in the randomizer. Or maybe it's just my emulator. But A, it takes forever to load the picture, and B, the picture is pure crap. Like, I don't know what's up with this. Maybe it's just Bizhawk that's doing this? But that doesn't seem right. Maybe it's an old broken camera, except people can still- the NPCs will still identify what you've taken pictures of. preferred him teaching me a song, but beggars can't be choosers. Oh wait, whoops. Oh 
Oh no, the pictures get rendered wonderfully on the native console. Now that I have the Picto Box, there's some other stuff that I can do. Hey, girls. Just in case I end up needing it, I'm gonna get Scarecrow Psalm. like manning the place is like there's a scarecrow who's talking i don't really care doesn't affect me at all um great bay coast let's go to pinnacle rock now shall we and while we're at it let's collect some of them zora eggs Andrew's meeting at 12. And then I've got to be at Romani Ranch when it's at 2.30, I believe? Oh, you, you haven't tried navigating Pirate's Fortress without the Stone Mask before? Oh. <laughs> I definitely have. Stone Mask makes it a whole lot easier. But yeah, you can totally get the uh, stone mask before having to do this. It wouldn't let me put on the stone mask. That is bullcrap. Oh, you can't put on the stone mask unless you're standing stock still on dry land, apparently. That's bullcrap. I wonder, could you jump in the boat with them if you have the stone mask? I have not tried that. Well, it looks like the fish bones aren't fooled by it. Hmm. I'm supposed to look as ordinary as a stone. rejects it. Oh, 
Bye, Nessie. Thanks for joining in. Oh, I'm sorry, not Nessie, Nintendo Addict. Why did I saw the N and I'm like, oops. I should have known Nessie's the font is imperfect. Oh well. People in YouTube land are like, what are you talking about? Because I haven't figured out a way to put Twitch chat into my actual recordings. This is one part that is almost impossible without the stone mask. You've got to shoot the Gerudos. I believe this leads just to the main area. Yeah. That room you need to actually shoot the beehive in order to make the Gerudos scared to go away. Oh, <laughs> 
this room is very difficult to go through. Because they you can shoot them with the arrow to knock them up, but then they come back so fast. Also, I can't remember if you either can or, like, I think if you can try, you can definitely try to sell the slides at the Curiosity Shop if you're feeling sadistic. I can't remember for the guy who actually buy them or not. There's a, there's a couple of things that the Curiosity Shop owner just will not buy. I know the Deku Princess is one of them. <laughs> I fell on the lady's head. She's like, nope, nothing suspicious. She's like, I shouldn't have watched Ant Man earlier. Got out of there fast. Hesitant to go to Pinnacle Rock at this point. If I go to Pinnacle Rock, I might not have it. Actually, wait, Andrew waits there the whole night, so I don't have to be there at 12. You like stealth games like that, but you haven't tried this, so... Okay. Oh my gosh, you have got to be... I am one really short. I think it costs 200. Alright, well, you know what? I can fix that. There we go. Alright, watch out for the weirdo in the cow outfit, Jimmy. Hey, Talon. Hey, Talon. Oh. 
<laughs> I hate this establishment. I'm. This is what I think of your establishment. Here, I just dumped my pet fish on the floor, so I would like the chateau, please. Oh man, the chateau is going to be so useful for Stone Tower Temple. Actually, the chateau is just such a game-breaking item. For those of you who don't know, the sh drinking Chateau Romani gives you infinite magic for this ent the entire rest of the time cycle. So, I will have unlimited magic until I play the song of time and reset time. Why is that ladder so freaking hard to climb up? It's huge! But its hitbox is, like, ridiculously tiny. There we go. Yeah, that's why my magic meter is blue. It's not because it's randomized. It was green earlier. I love the music here. It's like mysterious Indian music. I also looked it up, I do not need the Song of Storms, which you get by depositing 5,000 rupees in the bank. I'm glad I don't have to grind on shooting the bird down over and over again in order to do that. No, I can't do the Ocean Sculptula House until I get the, uh, whatchamacallit, until I get the Captain's Hat. And... Cool. Got the seahorse at last. Plus, the seahorses can reunite, and you get a piece of heart for that, so it's going to be good times. Seahorse, guide me to Pinnacle Rock. You have strange powers. probably get through without needing the seahorse. But the thing is... Gotta rescue the seahorse in order to get the heart piece in here. Ooh, it gives you, gives you an idea for a game, Moby. is nice. 
Also, remember the giant eel from Mario 64? You gotta basically kill a bunch of them. And boy, how do you do they look kind of creepy? Hey, bro. How's it going? Yeah, they look kind of freaky. Shield uh, is OP. Please nerf. Those fiends have a hitbox even when they're not sticking their head out. See, I just hit my head on it. Whoa, that was bizarre. Chest? That's a first for me. The portions of Half Life you refuse to play because of underwater enemies. Underwater things are just kind of creepy in general. <laughs> Zora Link's like, hey, look at me! He's like waving to the camera. Symbol of our love, 20 bucks. There we go. You know, they say that money is the root of. <laughs> the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, so. What does that say about the sea horses? Get me out of here! <laughs> this is taking forever. There we go. me a song in vanilla game, so maybe it'll give me a song in this one. If I picked a day to get, to get the Sonata of Awakening, oh, this would be it. is one of the most time-consuming side quests, so really hope this nets me something. 
I also cannot wait for the day I can exclude certain locations from being important. I'd get on that randomizer development team. I won't say no to that. <laughs> the old man, he's weird, yeah. Kind of creepy as well. Alright, gotta meet Anju, and then we can go and go to Romani Ranch to do the thing. actually going to return time slow to normal, because we got to wait out a little bit before we'll be able to do the Romani Ranch chain. And I don't think Angie's going to be leaving anytime soon. I think she stays literally until the end of the night in the kitchen. mail that in the morning. Um, how about not? I guess we won't have to go to Romani Ranch then. Alright, it's literally just do the rest of the dungeons. And the stupid thing is, I could have gotten that last time cycle. But I forgot. Literally, it's I, I was planning on doing it, but I was so busy with Great Bay Temple that I totally forgot to do that. Well, we're slowing down time again, then. Alright, Stone Tower Temple. That means I don't have to focus on getting the stray fairies anymore! Cool! I literally just... Go in, get the boss key, and get to the boss room as fast as possible. That's all I have to do. Thank goodness. Welcome to Inverted Stone Tower Temple. Whoop! <laughs> Don't play this dungeon if you have a fear of heights. Thank you. 
loving it. Now, I can't remember if you have to re-invert the tower by going outside, or if that's just if you want to get all the stray fairies. Okay, that is, did not go according to plan. Again, cool concept, but it just gets tedious playing it over and over again. Because it's a long, slow song with a long animation at the end. do that. That just is... All that is is adding extra backtracking. Keep, please. Oh yeah, this room. I like these rooms where you like flip the room upside down just for the individual room. You don't have to go back outside to do it. I 
and you get the infinitely spawning chew jelly, but it actually works out. Oh. Because the chew jellies make sure you don't run out of magic or arrows. So you can always, you'll always be able to flip around. This room is a little tedious with all the flipping. I like the idea, but maybe it, you need to do it a little too much. I fought him in this uh, randomizer. I've ever actually Z targeted him and used the tattle on him. Oh, there's lava on the ceiling. That's right. That's the room, the lava room with the Armos Knights. Yeah, you're gonna be nothing but trouble. <laughs> he was too dangerous to be kept alive. I forgot that they use pose as common enemies in this dungeon. <laughs> It's another elegy of emptiness thing. Why not? Why not? In case you couldn't tell, I, uh. It's been a few years since I've done this dungeon. Woodfall and Snowhead, I remember very well. Great Bay, less so, and then this is the one I have the least familiarity with. So, it, this is gonna be sick. Anyhow, this should give me a key. 
My favorite Zelda mini boss. <laughs> like ever. It's like the Grim Reaper meets Dracula. His name is Gomez. He has possibly the coolest design out of like any Zelda. Like, any Zelda. It's Gomez. Not Gomez. Gomez. I love his face. It's so intimidating. It's like a vampire. <laughs> he takes the best parts of vampires and the Grim Reaper and puts them together into like one awesomely cool monster. Boss key. Is there another way to leave that room? No, that I don't think there was. No, be. Oh no! Nope, that just led to the boss key. Honestly, Gomez is a cooler fight than the actual boss of this one. Well. I guess the boss of this dungeon is... Looking at the map, I should go to... Okay. Wait. Okay, no. I... Alright. Just gotta blow up those things. There we go. Those things are difficult to get rid of. The only way to get rid of them is to touch them or get them to touch each other. Yes. We go this way.
Oh yeah, you can Z-target that chest. That's really nice. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot you could do that. Light arrows just take them out. Makes sense, you're literally blinding him both with a sharp arrow and with the light that comes with it. That's my problem with this dungeon. Like, every time you make a chest appear, it appears upside down. Which makes you just keep flipping and flipping and flipping. <laughs> Alright, boss time. And this is we're having unlimited magic is going to be nice. Oh, and I don't think Mobius has ever seen this fight. This is an interesting and kind of cool fight. Giant masked insect twin. The only, f the only fight in the game that the first DD mask does not just completely trivialize. And I guess go. Aw, oh, I can't use the green fairies. So you can use the giant's mask only in this fight. It makes you huge and powerful and constantly drains your magic. You also don't need the Giant's Mask to defeat them, you can also shoot them with arrows. But Giant's Mask is way easier and fun. get that only when you defeat a boss for the first time? Oh, there we go. That's Twin Wolves remains down. Alright. <laughs> Off to the final dungeon, which is we're ironically doing the first dungeon last. And because we literally just need to defeat the boss, it's going to be so freaking fast. 
we can skip 95% of the dungeon. Because of all the tools we have. Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm actually gonna skip to Night of the Final Day. Because we're gonna have to wait till midnight, a night of the final day, in order to reach the final boss. And ho this will hopefully minimize the amount of time we have to spend waiting around. Yeah, so Song of Storms was hidden in the 5,000 bank reward. I'm so glad I didn't have to use that. I like how in the uh, free DS remake of this, the Song of Double Time, you can choose which hour to skip to. So you can be like, I just want to skip ahead, like, three hours. You can do it. And we're going to return time's flow to normal, because I am perfectly confident we can clear the Woodfall Temple uh, within that time. 100%, and that'll make it so that we won't have to wait around a whole lot until midnight. Alright, this is the moment I was waiting for. Sonata of Awakening. Welcome to Woodfall Temple. A dungeon that is easiest to sequence break. Like if you have if you have the bow going into the Woodfall Temple, you can skip a lot. If you have the fire arrows if you go into this temple, you can basically skip the whole thing. Observe. You're not supposed to do this till like basically the end of the dungeon. <laughs> Just yet, because I need the boss key. What? 
That almost didn't work out. Hey, we're dealing with everyone's favorite creepy mini boss today. Creepy frog. <laughs> from the guy in Great Bay Temple, though. Bosky time. All right. I have been looking forward to fighting the boss of this dungeon, though. <laughs> My favorite boss in the game. Yeah, we have not even explored half of this dungeon. Actually, we messed up my aim up there a little bit. That is not at all the way I told you to go. Okay. and the weird beetles exist only to annoy you. Fierce D 
Steedy just destroys this guy. He's actually a kind of tough fight if you don't, uh, if you're playing when you're supposed to. <laughs> you still have the special delivery for Mama. You better deliver it quick. <laughs> All right. We are just about done with the seed now. All we have left is the final boss. We finally saved Woodfall, you guys! <laughs> Princess, you're just gonna stay in that uh, grass prison. Um. Wow, I mean, I'm technically still in the fall combo, so it's a sword of the entrance. Sure. Why not? <laughs> do you want to teleport to exactly where you're standing right now? Yes, please do. Oh, and now we get the really creepy, intense, depressing, uh, last day music. Final boss time. <laughs> I'm sure Mobius is very confused right now because he hasn't played the game before. He's like, what is happening? Much like Odawa, Fear Steedy Mask just destroys the final boss. Especially if you have Chateau Romani. gets creepier. The chores incarnation. Possibly the weirdest boss in Zelda history. The final boss! <laughs> final boss is kind of a joke. It's like the final boss is also really creepy because it's like a, a demon monster with the voice of a child. And it like, it's basically frozen temper tantrum. It's very 
very, very disturbing. And yeah, that's the Majora's Mask Randomizer. If you haven't played the game, I strongly recommend playing the game with the vanilla game. It's so good. My number two favorite Zelda game. Even though I hate all the dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> the head carpenter always cracks me up. He's just like, bah! Bah! Dawn of a new day. Alright, so let's figure out the stuff that we didn't get. Alright, so there was a heart container and a hero shield that I missed in the bottom of the well. Okay. The giant's wallet was from the Deku Butler game. Alrighty. Let's see, uh, I, got a p I would get a piece of heart for doing the couple's mask side quest. I get, would get a piece of heart from the Honey and Darling games. I would have gotten the map of Woodfall if I had gotten the postman's hat. <laughs> That's interesting. Bomber's Notebook was for the perfect town archery game. Uh, if I'd done the Frog Choir, I would have gotten 20 bucks. Okay. That's interesting. Looking for uh, the masks that I didn't end up getting. Mask of Sense, Captain's Hat. Let's see, where were those? <laughs> oh, Captain's Hat is the reward for getting all of the stray fairies in uh, Stone Tower Temple. All right. Uh, the Mask of Sense was for sale in the Curiosity Shop instead of the All Night Mask. Cool. Okay, and then the Circus Leader's Mask was in the Ocean Spider House that I never went to. Okay. So I got all the important stuff. Alright. <laughs> and that is the end. <laughs>